Yep. Back out. <laughs> this time we're in uh, we're up at Wasdale Head. Oh, that's how you see it. Right, that's Kirkfell. This is Pillar. New Barrow. Through the trees. Through the trees there, New Barrow. We're going up, up there, above the washed water screes, in a place called Ill Gill Head. And it looks nice on paper, but it looks steep from here. It looks like a hard walk up the side of there, like. Ooh, it's uh, quarter to three. Been mucking about, like. And when I say we, Out. Yep. Bug out. Copyright in that like. <laughs> <laughs> Wast water. Wast water or wast water. Wasp. Sort of thing. Coming up there. That's where we pitched the Mark and Dave. Pitched the tents there. A few years back. Of course up on pillar as well. Coming there. Scarfells are over there. Can't quite see them at the minute. Whew. Again, quite a bit of height. We've just got the steep bit to go. Oh. You feel the path there, see it? It comes off. Oh, just when the sun hits them, like. Lovely colours. Autumn colours. Coming up here. It's very steep from there. Come up that way. This bit's really steep. Over there. Burn Moor Tarn. Should have went there. Be there by now. Wind's picking up. Bloody wind. Roger and Diane. Wind's back. Davies up there, pushing on. Had a wild camp last night, so his legs are burning. We're going up there. So we've got to get up the top of this bit here, which is as steep as hell, like. Whew, I think you're getting about 300 meters in, less than half a mile. And then at the top you go up over the back of there. Not too far off the whoa. This is really when you're not used to climbing the hills. It's been a long time. Okay, so that's Kirkfell. It's Great Gable. Let's just make out yeah, maybe Scarfell. Scarfell Pike behind it. It could be Scarfell Pike, I'm not quite sure. I think it is Scarfell Pike, that one. This is Scarfell. It's a nice, uh, nice view, like. Woo. Can't see the view because I'm blind. The agony. It's not too bad. Yeah, we'll push on. Got to hurry up and get the, beat the daylight. Sun's going down. The wind's here. I found a pitch.
set up. We'll have to disclose the location in the morning because it's just gone really dark like. Oh dear. Nice and cosy in there. Just got uh mush. Oh I midges. Don't worry about the midges at the bottom of the hill though. A few beers. Boston tea party. No oven monkey. You no oven monkey. Mr. Miles has joined the uh, the the brew dog corporation people. Are you set up, walk kid? What? Get in there. What you got? What you got? I've got, I've got nice things. I just found a sausage roll. Ooh, sausage roll. Where that comes from? The secret stash of sausage oh. rails. Never ending rucks at this. <laughs> Bottomless pit. Alright. We've got a good little spot, but uh, can't really see it. Top into the light. Like any police siren? Are you? Must be uh, down the Wasdell Road, that. Yeah, there's much to see, really. Sell a field over there. Wind. Right, I'm gonna hide. So anyway, it's tea time. Half past six. The match on. Team. Nicole Yendik, Clark Lejeune, and Mankio. Richie Shelby, Hayden, and Murphy. Gail, the goal scorer, and Hosselu. Here is Ashley Young. Man United, Newcastle, getting beat 2-1. Nothing extravagant tonight, like. Quite nice. It's all filling and warm like. I've got uh, my balls if I need them later. Mush tape. Nice and cosy in here. Like. It's really cold now. It's getting colder. All the stars are out. Oh, so you can't see the stars with this. But they're out. Yeah, okay, once is enough though. Be twice tonight. Come on. Boom. Anyway, get this and then get back up for another pint. Well, so we, uh, we've had a few beers, we've had some food. The wind's dro dropped off like... Hold on a minute, I'll turn, I'll turn Craig off for a minute because we might play a sound. Might play a tune. So we're just chilling out now. I've got my feet wrapped up in my buffalo shirt. Really toasty warm. Oh, that wind's nice, isn't it? But it's like reading outside. It was minus uh, minus six before wind chill. So we've come in. I'm on my Boston Tea Party last time on the. Makes a massive difference that fucking wind, like. Oh, it's, it's awful that wind. It just chills you to the bone, like. Look at that. Dave's took a couple of nice photos. And uh, well, we're just chilling out now. Like, we're just really all just chilling out. It's great. He's got his radio in there. 
got Craig Charles. That bloody video light of mine it keeps going off. I think it's because it's pointing at the light, yeah? Comes on when you go off the light. Anyway, right, that's it. That's all I film on day and the night. Lovely, cosy, toasty warm. Morning. Campus. Oh, we've woke up to this view. Ten past seven. Here's Dave, just here. Just here. Just within earshot. Kept each other awake all night. We were snoring and farting and... <laughs> just waiting for the sun to rise. It's coming up over the... Hope you're not talking about me. No, no, then this is another David. Just coming over the back of them hills there. Should be up in about 20 minutes. Just lapsing it like, but... GoPro, you can't zoom in. It's a shame you can't zoom in with the GoPro, like. I know. You could just set it away, couldn't you? Anyway, we'll get this, uh, get along. Just a bit of ice in me water. A bit of frost that goes on the tent. Is it all right, though? Warm enough. That's it. Listen to that. Nothing. You can't hear anything. Smashing. Brew team. Sun comes up, warms everything up anyway. There's no wind now, it's fabulous, no wind. God, what a difference that makes. The tents are there. That's the pitch. We pitched there to keep out of the wind a bit as it was coming from over there. So I had all this shelter and it did the trick. Wow, Dave. Good morning. With his photographs. Thinks he's good. <laughs> Not jealous like him. That's the old man of Coniston under the sun. Weather lamb. On the side of it up oh, here. Coniston. Weather lamb. That sort of thing. Alright. Nice. What a spot, what a cracking little spot. Just about perfect like. And we're gonna we're gonna have a look over the top of the um the summit over the screes when we set off. Because that's a sight to behold. And then we're going back that way, same way we came. Shouldn't take long. And then, as a shout out to Uncle George, we're going to go in for a Moggy's breakfast. Moggy's, you know. It's Mozza's, man. Mozza's. Mozza's? <laughs> Moggy's breakfast. Bowl of cat food. Yep. So. One last look at those tents there. What a pitch. Just one last look before we break camp. That's it. That's what pitch like. Middle of nowhere, really. We've walked for miles. We've walked for miles to get here. It's half dead when I arrived. Half dead, for those who don't understand, is dead. The wind's back anyway, so it's windproofs on, 
bags packed, tents next, off ski. We'll come back up with the screes, we'll go up and have a look at them. As you come into Wasdale, you'll see the screes. This is what you're looking at here. Not going to get too close to the edge, like, because if you go over there, there's no to stop you. You go over there, you're gone. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm flipping sure. One little trip, you're off. There's the road in down there. That's it. I wouldn't like to be in there now, the divers must be crazy. You see that lodge there? That's where we went. Um, that's where I did the impression of the ghost falling that's up the stairs. That's where you That's the youth hostel, aye. Right? Uh, it's good, that lake. That's it, the youth hostel, believe it or not. Good place to have one, ain't it? I thought it was filled. Blazing sun. Hey, it's nice, isn't it? Not much wind down here, anyway. It's the only backdrop, eh? Whew. Oh, soaked. So that's the end of the video. Enjoy that? Mint. Mint. Pure mint. So we're just stopping off to take a couple of photographs. That's the screes. We were camped. If I can just get the wit. We were camped there, at the top of there. Which when you look at it from here, it's quite hard to believe like that we were just up there. It looks massive. There's the view of uh, washed water. Just leave you with that. Have that view. Actually, might leave you with a um, load of cows walking past. I might do that instead. Can't beat a bit of. Oh, wow.